It's a card, it's a cartoon I did with a little blue monster on it. This is Microsoft, change the world or go home. And it kind of it has kind of life of its own. What, it, what I did is I drew this picture in high resolution. And I, I scanned it in high resolution and put it onto my blog. And, and to me, change the world or go home was kind of more of a kind of, if I work for Microsoft, which I don't, it's the kind of thing I would say, you know. I gave you my business card. This conversation is supposed to be about me, about what I do, about what I can do for you, about how in exchange for this five cent card, I can make dollars from this conversation with you. But no, no, we don't do that. We talk about Hugh, who has described this business card as something called a social object. And social object has a lot to do with answering the questions being raised by businesses about social media. And if social media is pulling the rug out from under the soles of traditional marketing and public relations and advertising, the answer to what we replaces it may well be found in social objects. The thing is, a company cannot just say, okay, let's create a social object. It's more like they create stuff, and then the stuff either becomes a social object or it doesn't, and it dies. But, I mean, everything has a, everything has a function. The, the thing is, what's interesting with the Internet is basically every, everything that is, is exchanged on the Internet Go, are, are the things that are successful on the internet are usually social objects. For example, Flickr. It's not just about, Flickr is not just a, a repository for your photographs. It's a way for you to share your photographs. And it makes it very easy for you to share your photographs. And so, so the photograph becomes the object. Hey, check out my photos on, on my Flickr stream. And, and you look at the, blog, the blogosphere, you know, we're, we're kind of sharing our thoughts and our thoughts become these social objects. Because it's not just like, oh, what a great thought. I think I'll keep it to myself. No, I think I'll... I'll point, I'll tell my friends, hey, Shell just said something really great, so hey, check it out. And so the thought becomes a social object, or the idea. Hugh has a whole nomenclature about the go-around social objects. Some of them are colorful terms. One of them is social markers. I wondered if that wasn't a little bit like wolves in the woods peeing on stones. Uh, more than that, um, it sounds real good, but I wondered if you had any good examples of uh, companies who would use social objects to replace traditional marketing. But what's interesting to me about social objects is there's a subset of them called a social, a social marker, which is, uh, is a social object that, that, you, that you use to mark out stake out a kind of territory within a space, a social space. So for example, uh, let's say we're two random guys who meet at a convention, right? And we're trying to suss each other out, you know, see if, you know, you're a player, or I'm a player, or whether we're going to be taken seriously or anything. And so we'll name drop a few people who are kind of famous in our, in our, uh, our sphere. So let's say if we're at like a big Silicon Valley thing, I'll say, oh, what, what about Michael Arrington, or what about, uh, what about Robert Scoble, or what about, you know, Steve Jobs, or what about, and, and we'll all have some kind of informed opinion about these people, because these are the people who kind of mark out the territory, any territory, and, and I guess as a marketer, my uh, question would be, if your product isn't a social marker, or so, if your product isn't being used as a social object, what what business are you in, for God's sake? Because we had this uh, client of mine, a uh, South African winery, and uh, and what we did, we uh, in England, and we sold mostly to supermarkets. And I, I had this crazy idea. Well, and let's just give out free samples to bloggers. And this was about three years ago, two years ago. So I mean, bloggers are still. Free. We, we we bloggers did appreciate it. Yeah. And so we started sponsoring blogger events, and we started set. You know, I said, if you're a blogger, and you've been blogging for more than three months and you're in our territory, you have a free bottle. You don't have to blog about it. You don't have to say nice things about it. And so, and so they did, and we gave out a couple hundred bottles, probably actually a couple thousand now. 
and it just kind of got a lot of interest, a lot of media attention. It got a lot of uh, momentum, and it kind of, uh, you know, it kind of doubled our sales in one year. You know, from fifty thousand cases to hundred thousand cases. So if if you if you have a fairly ordinary product or fairly, you know, commoditized product, what you do is not so much how you make it or how much you sell it for, but it's kind of how you relate to people, how you talk to people. And, and we, just, you know, we just gave out the wine to people we thought were cool and also, you know, kind of hyper-connected cool people and without any kind of preconditions or any kind of expectations other than thinking, hey, this would be fun. I get asked a lot about my contention that traditional marketing, for the most part, is going out. Uh, advertising and PR just don't work the way they used to. And watching a whole generation come of age that is uh, that holds a Teflon resistance to traditional marketing, who, 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 who's purchasing and watching and listening decisions uh, are influenced by friends and not uh, professional athletic endorsements. I get asked a lot, just what do I think will replace traditional marketing? Uh, and I think social objects are one significant answer to the problem. It's, it's like with marketing, I'm trying to get away from like message, who, message, here, quality and value you can trust. Rather saying, here you go, my name's Hugh McLeod and this is what I make. And I think you're kind of cool. And, and I think people respond to genuine sh social gestures more than respond to being bombarded with messages. So that, that's my, uh, yeah, so social gestures beget social objects, I guess is my, my mantra.